Hey guys, welcome back to another Roblox Studio How to Make a Game Like Tower of Help tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing the countdown for the rounds. So first what you want to gun, want to gun do is go to your main script main script and find where the weight is. Um that's after all the main script and just delete it. <laughs> Gone. And then type local minutes and that equals and then this is going to be however long you want the round to go like it, however many minutes you want the round to go so if you want it like two minutes just put a two if you want three just put three minutes um for now i'm just going to do it like each round 15 seconds so i'm just going to have it zero and then local seconds equals just I'm just going to do it 15, and then local, whoops, no, what am I doing, local timer equals game dot, not, game dot replicated storage dot timer, we're going to be creating that soon, and then repeat, and then if, if seconds is bit is smaller smaller or equal to zero then um, then minutes equals minutes minus one minutes equals minutes minus one and then seconds equals fifty nine. Okay, hold on. So seconds fifty nine, and then do in else if um, I mean else seconds equals seconds minus one, and then do an scroll down, and then do an end. Do if seconds is smaller or equal to 9 then timer dot value equals to to string to string whatever um, minutes um, oh, no wait uh, yep equals minutes and then out of the um, think that I forgot, um, parentheses, do dot dot, then these, I can't remember what they're called right now, dot, and then that, and then that, and then a zero, <laughs> yes, and then dot dot, to string, seconds, seconds, okay, and then do, no, whoops, um, and then do in else else timer dot or you can just copy this paste it there and just change and just and just get rid of this zero then and and then just wait one second because that's how long that how long one second is yeah and then do until minutes is um wait hold on okay so and then minutes if it's smaller or equal to zero and seconds are smaller or equal to zero. So that just repeats it until that happens. Yeah, okay. And then, um, so we're gonna create the this timer part. So just go to replicated storage, press the plus, do it, um, wait, str 
string value, you get a string value, just name it timer. So that so there's the um yeah this there's that value. And then go to starter GUI. I'm gonna go to here so I can see where it is. Put a screen GUI in. Just name it timer. Um, and then do insert a text label. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Name it timer label. And then inside this screen GUI, insert a local script. And just get rid of that. And in this, type function um, refresh. Then um, parentheses, and then script dot parent dot um, timer label dot text equals game dot replicated storage dot timer dot value, and do an end if it's not already there, and um, refresh and parentheses. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do is game dot replicated storage dot timer dot changed um, connect and refresh refresh, and then you can play the game just to test it and it's loading it's just, it's just loading. And then the timer will be, and then you'll have the timer right up here. It's going. Just wait for it to reach zero, and you'll see the map reset. And yep, there, done. So that was how to make a countdown for the game. Hope you enjoyed, and and I'll see you next time. Bye.